Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Scream 2. What do you know about this movie? It's the sequel. Sequel. <laughs> to Scream. Just re-uploaded Scream to the channel, but real time, we watched it last year. Yeah, so it's been a while since we saw the first one. It unfortunately got taken down. And then by the time we got around to re-editing it, we figured why not start up the Scream franchise again around spooky season. So hopefully we can get through all Scream movies and they can all stay up. That's the goal. But we had such a great time watching the first one. Yeah, the first one was a ton of fun. I feel like it was such a good balance of like horror and playing homage to like the classic horror films. So I'm really excited. I'm assuming we're getting like a ton of the cast back, I think from the movie poster. If we're getting all of the survivors yeah, back. Yeah, then that's a that's ton. A lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mostly Neve Campbell, but it'd be cool to see Dewey, Courtney Cox. Right, Scream 1 ended up with like a flash to the ghost face killer mask. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Um, and then also there was that guy who was in prison who was actually innocent. So I don't know yes. if that's going to be a storyline. Yeah, I forgot about that. That'd be cool Yeah. to bring back. So, I mean, we have four more screams to watch, right? There's five. Yeah, there's either five or six or they're working five. on six. Yeah. So we have a lot to get through, <laughs> but I loved the first film, so I'm really excited for the second. Yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Stab. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize that it's the mask is yeah. on the poster. Jada Pinkett. Stab souvenirs, the studio sent them. No. Oh no. <laughs> this is a horrible idea. Oh, whoa. What spectacle for a movie. This is how you'd get people back into the theaters. <laughs> so is there going to be a stabbing in this theater? <laughs> yeah, I feel like it. And you could easily get away with it with everyone wearing these costumes. Man, what a recreation of the actual events of the first movie. Whoa. Heather Graham? Holy shit. That was a movie in a movie <laughs> that got us. How are people watching this with their masks on? I don't like games. Who is this? That Her was... entire house is glass. Yeah, right? She is on edge. It's a true story. All these kids got killed a couple years ago in California. Yeah, it hasn't been that long. Kill her! <laughs> All these people are missing the movie. <sighs> oh my gosh. How'd they get the events of the first movie so correct? Right? Nobody was there. She died. There was no eyewitness report to all of this. I'm not liking this. Also, you didn't go right before the movie. You went like five minutes into the movie. You still had to use the restroom. I was gonna say, isn't there a stall? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Jeez, we have our first victim. That was brutal. Oh no. Give it up. You're sitting right next to the killer. Is there blood on it? Oh. Oh. Oh my god, no one's gonna even hear. Oh, someone is getting murdered with you all here. How many times is she gonna get stabbed? Damn, that gave me chills. That was such a crazy intro. I mean, the first one had a crazy intro too, so... It lived up to the first one. Yeah. Man, that movie's getting shut down after that. Hello. Already? Who is this? That doesn't terrify her at this point. Hot flash, Corey. Prank calls are a criminal offense. Man, was that just like a spam? Like just some random person fucking yeah. with her? It's not an easy thing to be accused of a crime you didn't commit. Oh. How do people treat you now that they know the truth about your innocence? So he's out. You know me in organized religion. It's a sorority. Worse. <laughs> Check out the news. Oh, is it about the movie? Probably. Windsor College students were murdered last yep. night. Where's Rand? He's got film theory this morning. Film theory? Man. Like she's surrounded by a lot of people. Yeah, but her life sucks. Like, uh, they made a movie about her. She's getting harassed on the phone. Everyone looks at her differently. What can you tell us about the victims, How about the police? Why would she know anything about the victims? That is so moral majority. Whoa. Sarah Michelle Gellar? 
It's a classic case of life imitating art. Oh, dang! Killer obviously patterned himself after two serial killers who have been immortalized on film. Thank you. That guy's famous too. Stab two? Sequels <laughs> suck. <laughs> Aliens, far better than the first. Well, okay. Terminator? <laughs> yeah, Terminator 2. T2. Mm. Yeah. The Godfather, part two. Mm, I prefer the first, but that's okay. Still a great sequel. This is a great class. How would you make it different? I'd let the geek get the girl. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna get Sydney? It's definitely gonna get stabbed. <laughs> you survived the first one. Can we just go back to our pseudo quasi happy existence? Hello, yeah. Derek. How you doing? Isn't that like Jeremy O'Connell or something like that? Is this the new boyfriend? Mm-hmm. Is this their college? The college that they're going to? That the kids were from. Oh, I think so. Hey, Gail! With red hair? Yeah. You stay focused and fast on your feet and you'll be along fine. Really loved your book. Thank you. I can't wait to see the movie. I love a flack on that. How would she get flack? What's you your theory on these murders? What's what your you feeling about, about this? Man, reporter on reporter violence. <laughs> Sydney, look, it's Gail Weathers. What? Soon to be a major motion picture starring Gail Weathers. Yeah, I thought they were all cool. Hello, Pledge. Hi, Sydney. Is that Portia? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Delta Lambdas are very sensitive to your plight. Bye. <laughs> Biggest bunch of fucking. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dewey? Dewey? Dewey! Are you not a cop anymore? I was worried about you. Aww. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we did get everyone back. Theater's going great. I got my first starring role. We opened in two days. Mm -hmm. She's in a play? Yeah, I would stay away from theaters. Seeing someone, you know, the parents' psychotic tendencies. <laughs> Hopefully. I was gonna say, I don't trust her. New boyfriend? Yeah. No. Like, I don't trust Meter. Yeah. They're probably already in your life. Ooh, good insight from Dewey. Just want you to be careful, Sid. He doesn't trust her trust meter either. <laughs> There's no trust. I was hoping I might get just a few words with you. On camera. Oh, Gail, what? Gail, that was dirty. Do you have any comments? You bitch. Yeah. Please. Oh! oh. Did you get that all film? <laughs> yes, I got that all film. <laughs> I thought we had an official interview. What's going on? Man, that was cold. Yeah, that was fucked up, Gail. Yeah. Don't walk away from me, Gail. I'm still... Oh, I feel like that guy's capable of murder still. I feel like he's like on the... <laughs> on the verge of yeah. murder. <gasps> Dewey. What happened between you two? Why don't you just leave her alone? Ooh. And my name is Dwight. What? Dwight? I don't condone violence, but maybe you deserved it. What happened with his hand? Dewey, don't take it so seriously. Deputy Dewey oozed with inexperience. <laughs> That's why he's not doing it anymore? Maybe. I'm sorry. I'm the one that's sorry. I misjudged you. Damn, Dwight. Mentally stable, healthy environment for you. Parties aren't uh, safe either from the first movie. Hi! No, I really mean that. I feel like they don't really like Sydney. I can't tell. I feel, I feel like they like the attention. Maybe? Yeah, I think they're using her. No Mega Beta Zeta. Hello. Uh oh, next victim. Ted's on the other line. He sounds drunk. I'll call you back. I don't know who Ted is, but I don't think it's Ted. No. Who's Ted? I thought you were someone else. Oh, are they already in the house? Who are you calling for? I, nobody's here. So she just told him that she's there by herself. Yeah, and that everyone else is drunk. Do you want to die tonight, Cece? How does she not recognize this? Right? They were talking about it in film class. Some creep asshole trying to scare me. <laughs> the fucking flowers coming in a frame scared me. I heard a noise. Oh, get out of here. Don't go upstairs. I don't think I'm alone. Run out of the house. There you go. Well, what if he's outside? No. Just run into an open field or something. <laughs> Someone's harassing me. No, no! <laughs> Jesus. Cece there. Mm-hmm, who's calling? What? You didn't lock the front door? So there are two of them. If someone was already upstairs and now- Well, no, because someone was on the phone and then that guy just came in. Oh, that's true. Hello, Ted. Wish it was Ted. Go with her! It's already in. Why would you not just go with her? <laughs> movie. There's always a horror movie playing. Mm -mm. What would you do if there was someone there? <laughs> <sighs> Stressing me out. Ah! Don't go up! <laughs> you are not fast enough! 
Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh. Damn. While everyone's just drinking, having a good time. Empire Strikes Back. Better story, improved effects. Oh, the sequels. I take it you will not be pledging Delta Lambda <laughs> Zeta. Oh, there's the sirens. Oh, yeah. Damn, and they're all just on sorority row, like... They're all just right there. Yeah. There's a double stab, so it's definitely not suicide. Yeah, stabbed in the back twice. Gail, how huh? You're just getting here. She beat Gail. It's happening again, isn't it? You'd love that, wouldn't you? Oof. Dwight is ruthless. Come on, get your jacket. Let's get you home. What was that? Why are you playing that music? Yeah, why are we spending so much time on that? <laughs> And they're literally right across the street, so anyone could have killed her and then come right back to this party. Uh, it's calling. You about ready? Almost. I was gonna say it's not him, but there are two of them. Right. So it could be. Hello, Sydney. It's showtime. Already? Oh, fucking kick down the door or something. Just as clumsy as the guys. Yeah, not experienced killers. Sweet, sweet, you okay? You okay? Get away from the door! Uh oh. The killer's in there and Derek. Was his hand always fucked up in the first movie? No, I feel like something happened in the first movie, but I don't remember. Oof. She got me. Man. I, I don't know if I trust him. Yeah, I mean. The fact that he ran in and then got like such a easy wound and then survived. Merrick could have been killed, you know. He needs to realize there's no time to play Europe. Why would anyone go back in that house anyway? Yeah. You're lucky there's no nerve damage. No struggle? He just cut you and ran away? Yeah, it's awfully convenient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Super suspicious. If I'm Sydney, I'm not doing anything other than hanging out with, I think his name's Randy and Dwight. Is Cece the girl's real name? Casey Cooper. The victim in Woodsboro as well. Stephen Orth. Ooh. Do you think someone's trying to duplicate Woodsboro? Oh shit. You're trying to make a sequel. Do these guys have to follow you around everywhere? <laughs> How am I ever gonna get you alone? Don't. It would probably be in your best interest to stay as far away from me as possible. I think she feels terrible. You think? When he was laying there, she had a look on her face like she was like, damn, like no one around me is safe. But I don't trust him. No, no one does. Trusting me or anything, right? I don't want to see you get hurt. Because it seems like the copycat would want to get as close to her as possible, right? Yeah, to copy the boyfriend. Here to help Sid. I want to help her too. Bullshit. Yeah. Gail, hi. So who do you what think about Sidney's father? I don't trust this reporter either. What about this ex-cop Dewey Riley? Dewey's a good guy, unlike some of us. At least she's self-aware. Yeah. What's up, Sid? How's it going? Hmm? Denied. I just decided to myself. Top Gun, 1986. Haven't seen it. Isn't that what life is made of? <laughs> is this a spoiler for Top Gun? What a performance. You're not supposed to give your Greek letters to your girl. Brothers are gonna kick his ass. Oh, it worked. Still don't trust him. Tell us about this part. Well, I play this young girl, Sydney Prescott. Is that, um... Tori Spelling? <laughs> yeah. Catch Joe Blow nobody to play me. At least you get David Schwimmer. <laughs> oh man, I remember this part. Luke Wilson. My mom's dead and she's never coming back. <laughs> Stupid. Someone's out to make a sequel. The body count is always bigger. Death scenes are always much more elaborate. Okay. And number three, never ever. How do we find the killer, Randy? Oh. That's what I want to know. What was the third one? Yeah, never ever what? Derek, the obvious boyfriend, surface wound conveniently missed every major vein and art. Ooh, I forgot he was pre med. Mickey, the freaky Tarantino film student. Yeah. If I'm a suspect, you're a suspect. Do you have a point? <laughs> Let's drop this. Hallie, Sid's roommate? It's perfect. It's sort of against the rules, but not really. Oh. How about Gail Weathers? Gail? Why not? She wants more promotion. That's what reporters do, do we? They stage the news. The killer was pretty big. Yeah, I don't know if she's capable. There could be two killers and one, like, big guy. And what's with that limp anyway? Because you were stabbed on the back. Severed nerve. Oh, okay. But if she's not a killer, she's a target. Why would you want to be here when the killer strikes again? I read what happened to your last cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> like every job, there's a few drawbacks. A <laughs> few Brothers don't last long in situations like this. <laughs> Cannot do this without you. Man, I hope he doesn't die. Oh, the play. 
forgot. Oof, this is not gonna go well. I don't think I can do it. None of us can avoid our fate. You can honestly face it and fight it. It's like a pep talk for the play, but also for what's going on in real life. No, this is not good. One of these people is gonna have a real mask underneath. Ooh. I don't like this. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Just jump off the stage. Oh, she was imagining it? Pretty sure he just ran off. That was a lot for her to handle. Your escort has arrived. Where the hell is this guy? What happened to Mickey? You get me instead. What happened? I need to be alone right now. You got it. All right, let's just assume the killer is repeating Woodsboro. That doesn't explain Sydney's attack. <laughs> is it making a weapon? The killer's trying to finish what was started. What? Bob really needs to talk Tell to Bob you. I'll call him back. Who's Bob? It's those nude pictures on the internet. It was Jennifer Aniston's body. <laughs> what? So many Friends references. If the killer is following a pattern, then maybe we can figure out who's next. Gail's not here. I'm not interrupting anything. Oh. You look deep in thought. They're watching him right now. He can see us. Just keep him talking. Come on, Gail. I don't like the splitting up. What's your favorite scary movie? Showgirls. <laughs> He's gotta be around here someplace. It's you... probably in, look at all the windows. Yeah, seriously. White male suspect, nine o'clock. Go around the back. Huh. You'll never be the leading man. Fuck you! There's no way he's just out in the open like this. <laughs> Damn. You wanna be one of the big boys? Huh? <gasps> no! He was in the fucking van! Not Randy! Aw, oh, man! Damn, I wanted him to live. No one was rooting for him to get the girl. I know, it was his turn. You have an instant message. Well, I'm not signed on. Oh, the killer in the library? He's here. Wait right here. Yeah. No, what? Stop leaving her alone. Is it okay? I totally forgot about this guy. So did I. Diane Sawyer, do and I go in the air together. She will give us the entire hour. You don't like the press. I know that. And you sound like a killer. There's been enough exposure. Why would you want any more? All I'm asking for is my little fucking Diane Sawyer. Damn. Everybody's favorite little victim. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Man. I don't know about homicide, but you've definitely got me for raising my voice in a public library. I do feel like he just wants to be famous. I don't think he's the killer. No, I don't think so either. That was still super aggressive. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Waiting for my 15 minutes of fame. Don't do anything stupid, Cotton. Why is everyone so suspicious? Yeah, he's throwing out a lot of red flags. We should get going. They told her about Randy or no? Uh, not yet. Gail, hang on one second. How about a photo? No? Damn, that reporter again? Knowing somebody's out there waiting and watching, enjoying all this. Give it a rest. It was the wrong time. I'm sorry. I'm suspicious of her. And pounded my van. Thanks to you. See ya. Wouldn't want to be. Good, survive. You know, it wasn't her fault that he got stabbed in that van. No. I feel bad, do we? It's Dwight. I just want to find this fucker. I really do. Especially if he's coming after her. Yeah, she's probably scared. What's in here? Crowd footage that Joel shot. Crowd footage, huh? If the killer really is watching, then he'd be here on these tapes. Yeah, who's in every single crime scene? They're on the case. Video archive. Can they do this somewhere safer? I don't trust this. Can they just get a VCR and go to a motel or something? Oh. <laughs> oh. Ow. Just get back together already. Okay, but keep, maybe keep watching the tapes. <laughs> Who turned that on? That's not my footage. Oh! Dewey, what are you doing? Do you even have a gun, Dewey? There's no one there. No! Oh, <laughs> I was waiting for something. Oh. Dewey, God. oh fuck yeah, Gail. I don't like this. Oh fuck, it's like the editing room. That's where, what is his name, Mikey? That's the guy who's spending all his time in the editing room. Oh, the Tarantino guy? Yeah, which would make sense with the filming. Where's Dewey? Oh, like labyrinth of soundproof. Oh my God. No, oh, fuck, why is that locked? Well, he definitely heard that. <laughs> uh, 
Uh oh. Oh no, this is horrible. No! Fuck. No, I don't want to watch anymore. Fucking kill Dewey. Not getting in. Is there another way in that room? I don't know. Damn it! Dewey! Wait up. She's, she's fine. I'm her therapist. Ever since Randy said her, though, I'm so suspicious. I know. Randy still suspected her. When this is all over, I'll still be here. They always play such sinister music with him. <laughs> I'll still be here. Is that someone running in the Yeah, back? did you see that? Is he about to get it? He might. Prepare to die. You gave up your letters. Oh. oh. This is the punishment for giving away his letters? So where are you taking us anyway? Don't ask, don't tell. Oh, no fucking way. These are your two best cops? At a freaking stoplight? Shoot! You suck. Shoot, just start shooting. Oh my god. They got him with a bunch of po Oh my god! <laughs> that pipe was right through his head. They absolutely upped the gore. That's true, that's one of the rules. Well, oh, he's yeah, knocked there's out. There's no way he's dead. Ew. <laughs> Show it again. You gotta kick that out. Oh no, they have to go out the front? Damn. Oh, he's for sure gonna wake up. Oh fuck, you're gonna have to go over him. Can you like oh. take the mask off? That's true, yeah, take it off. I would kick him out of the car. Oh fuck! This is so slow and stressful. Stressing me out. Oh, she's free. Oh. Oh, she's not making it. Get the gun though. It's on the roof of the car. Get the gun. Just shoot him. But, like you should take off his mask to see if he's awake. Yeah. Get the gun. Take off his mask. Look at his face. Shoot his face. <laughs> Sorry, friend. I would go so fast. Just jump. Jump for it. Oh shit. She made it. Let's go. Take the mask off. I want to know who it is. Yes. No, come on, sick, come on. What do you mean, no? Hallie, I'm sick of running. Sick, come back. You should have done this immediately. Or is he already gone? Great. Oh, shit. What? Uh-oh. Really? So if there's two, he could still be. <gasps> oh. Ew. Why is he covered in blood? I found Dewey. I tried to help him, I- Found Dewey? Wasn't he just like right outside the soundproof room? Yeah. Wouldn't she have seen him in there? Yo. Cotton fucking weary! Cotton weary? I don't think so. No. I don't trust that reporter always fucking being there. Hello? Guys? You didn't see someone right away, you should leave. Okay. What is that? Is that the boyfriend's? Oh. Is he dead? Derek! The killer, he's here. We're right here. Oh, fuck. You really want to trust your boyfriend? <laughs> Don't you know history repeats itself? Oh, that's Mikey. I mean, it made sense with everything. Obsessed with sequels. I've been on my own. All fucking night. Thanks a lot, partner. I gotta have a partner. I don't think he could do this alone. Yeah, he needs a partner. The man is lying! On time. I mean, he does seem like he's lying because he would prefer him to come down. Yeah. They were working together. You are dead! dead. <gasps> okay, I think he was innocent. Oh, fuck. This sucks for Sydney. Who's his partner then? It's gotta be that bitch reporter who's always there. Just the kind of boy you'd like to take home if you had a mom. Fuck you! Oh my god! Mickey is a sick fuck who wants to get caught. I'm gonna blame the movies. Blame the movies? It's air tight, Sid. Holy crap. People love a good trial. It's like theater, they're dying for it. Or it could be Cotton. You think Cotton's the other partner? 
Damn, Sydney. Oh, oh fuck. Now who's doing that? The mystery guest waiting in the wings. Oh. Gail. No. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> so Cotton's innocent and was this random lady? Billy's mother. What the fuck? That's Billy's mom? We met on the internet, psycho website, classifieds. All he needed was a little guidance. Did she teach Billy too? What the fuck? Oh no, Gail! She just wanted revenge for her son and just fucking killed- Poor boy was completely out of his mind. You killed my son. Your psycho son. You're never gonna get away with this. Everything's traceable back to Mickey. You're as crazy as your son was. Your son's crazy and so are you. I was a good mother. I blame someone. Why don't you blame your mother? Cotton. We need cotton. Isn't Mickey supposed to be dead? Oh, oh shit! <laughs> she got her. Oh shit! No way. <laughs> Just terrorizing her. Oh. Damn! <laughs> Those. Those have to be fake, I assume. <laughs> oh, you don't have the axe knee? Ah! Oh. Oh, come on, Sydney. Cotton. She'll do any interview you want, Cotton. Save her life. As long as she's alive, you're never going to be the lead story. That's what you really want. Sydney, agree to the interview. Quite a predicament you're in, Sid. Bet you that Diane Sawyer interview's looking real good right about now. Yes! Consider it done. <laughs> she really just had to agree to the interview. Wow. That was intense. <laughs> oh, right in the throat? Cotton, give me the gun. Okay. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> he really just wanted that interview. Ah! Oh, he's yeah. gone! He also did say he was helping Dewey, so he wasn't lying about that. Can you one of those? Now <laughs> we both have guns. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Just in case. <laughs> hey, he's back! No, I was thinking maybe we could get the scoop like in the old days. <laughs> now that the killers are dead. It's got to be it Dewey. Dewey. Dewey, you trooper. Scar tissue. Scar tissue saved oh, so his life? He stabbed in the same place he was already stabbed. Sydney, can you tell us how it feels to be a hero? <laughs> He's doing both. Talk to Cotton. He's the man you want to interview. He's a hero. Yeah, Cotton. Win-win. She doesn't want the attention, and he does. <laughs> yeah. No one wants to give you this story more than I do. Indeed, a price for everything. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. Make a hell of a movie. <laughs> Cotton. Yeah, but damn, almost everyone's dead in her life. Literally, Gail and Dewey. That's it. Her roommate, her boyfriend, Randy. Everyone from the first movie and everyone good from this movie. Just Cotton, Dewey, and uh, Gail. That's it. Damn, Sydney's life sucks. And there's like four more screams. <laughs> Jesus. All right, that was Scream 2. What'd you think? I thought that was such a good sequel. That was amazing. Yeah, I mean, it was like the perfect amount of like connection to the first film, obviously. Yeah. And then there was a lot of great funny moments too. I loved like the fact that they had like the stab movie as like a pretty big portion of this film. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we're still following Sydney, so she's now at college. It was incredible. They really did tie it very well into the first one in so many ways. Not only bringing back all of the survivors, but literally making a movie about the events of the first film. And that plays so heavily into this one with how Sydney does not want the attention anymore. Yeah. Gail obviously uses the attention for fame. She kind of ruined the relationship with Dewey in that pursuit of fame. You have Cotton, who's a mega pursuit of fame. So it really is interesting how the events of the first movie are so important to the events of the second one. Mm -hmm. That reporter, the twist of her being actually Billy's mom. So yeah. it's like, it's not only the fame aspect of it, but it's literally someone just wants revenge. So you're going through this movie thinking, 
what the hell is going on? Is it a copycat killer? Is it this? Is it that? It ends up being, once you get all the way down to the end, it's just a very basic revenge story that the mom wanted some revenge on the person who killed her son. Yeah, and then she just found a psychopath at the college to yeah, work with. Just a random psychopath and then got him into college, paid for his tuition yeah. and planned this whole elaborate way to kill Sydney. Yeah. I loved all the little jokes that they made about sequels. Oh yeah. Uh, they started at the beginning of the film in their film class about it. They do such a good job of just like kind of poking fun at the movie itself in making fun of the sequel and in the movie within a movie. Yeah. I love that. I thought that was really clever. They did a very similar thing in the first one where it was like against all of the typical tropes of horror movies. Right. Like, oh, look behind you as someone's right behind them and stuff. But for this to literally go through, a sequel needs to have a higher body count and yeah. it needs to have more gore. Yeah. And I feel like it had all of that. I know. We never found out what the third thing is. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we never did. Damn. Maybe someone knows. Maybe we could look it up. And maybe it was pointed out at some other point. Like, it actually happened. Right. So it was excellent how they used so much of the cast and the just events of the first movie to tie into this because it really did not feel repetitive. No. Even though it was intentionally very repetitive to the point where, like, the people who were getting killed had names of people from the first one. So clever. Yeah. Like everything they did was just so clever. I also loved the casting of this. We had so many people in this movie and then we had so many people in Stab. Right, in, in the, the movie. movie. Yeah. So the cast was like insane. Yeah, I mean, you had so many actual stars. You had tons of references with Courtney Cox, obviously being on Friends, yeah. probably either during this probably the whole time, but how uh, David Schwimmer was playing Dewey, right, I think? Yes. And uh, had like a deep fake or something like that with Jennifer Aniston's body or something like, so they clearly had a lot of fun with actual real life celebrities. Yeah. Cast was absolutely stacked. The people that they brought in, Timothy Oliphant was incredible, especially at the end when he was a psycho and it was revealed. I feel like the movie had so many paths that seemed very easy to figure out that it was him, Mikey or Mickey, some, one of those two. Yeah. Uh, but then the reveal from the mom didn't see it coming, even though I was super suspicious of the reporter because she was always there. Yeah, he said <laughs> But I thought she was just going to be a reporter, so I had no idea about the whole reveal that that was actually Billy's mom because even when she entered and Sydney said her name, I was like, that doesn't sound... I didn't I didn't remember what her name was, but I was like, that doesn't sound right. No. I didn't put it together fast enough until the movie actually tells you. Yeah, I didn't either. I definitely thought that she was still a reporter too, even when she walked in the door. And I was like, oh, like he said that he wants his fame um, and he wants to be caught and then they'll plead insanity or whatever. Right. The movie. So I thought she was still a reporter and she wanted to be like first on the story of his murder spree. Right. So, I mean, even the twist, they put it right in front of you and then they just pulled it out from underneath you at the last second and be like, psych, you thought you had it, but you don't. Yeah, I mean, the whole in the school and in the editing and all of that, that kind of helped with the reveal for Mickey. Yeah, Mickey, Mikey. Mikey. I think it's Mickey. I think it's Mickey. We'll go with Mickey. <laughs> Timothy Oliphant. <laughs> that kind of helped with that reveal a little bit and he seemed a little off. <laughs> For sure. Timothy Olyphant did a fantastic job playing like a weirdo. A weird a kid, yeah. Even when he was like hyping everyone up during the musical number. <laughs> yeah, he was just so odd. I feel really bad for suspecting Derek. Yeah. I it mean, was the music. It literally was the music in the movie. The movie did such an amazing job of just putting it right in front of you, talking about how the killers are trying to duplicate the first movie you have the boyfriend who is super suspicious. It gives you those moments where it's like, why would he fight the killer alone in the house? No one would see anything. And he would get a very convenient stab wound. Yeah, um, as a pre-med student. As a pre-med student. Like the movie was 
really hard. Even when he was in the hospital and everyone was suspicious of him. Yeah, because I mean, in the first film, we had the whole like end of the movie, they're talking about the stabbing and like, oh, we know where to stab so it doesn't cause any actual damage. Yeah. So they were so good. And looking back, thinking about it now, it's like, I feel stupid suspecting him because the movie was so intentional on putting it right in front of your face. And then even Randy, who is like essentially your expert on all of this stuff, was like, no, there's no way that it would be the boyfriend again. That's too cheesy, it's too corny, it's too played out. It has to be something different. But I thought he did also rule out Mickey. Did he not? I think he was suspicious of Mickey, but I think he said, let's avoid that because we're both in the film class. So he's like, if Mickey's a suspect, then I'm a suspect. Yeah. So he did rule out Mickey, but only because it played on him. Yeah. Whereas the boyfriend, he was for sure like, no, there's no way. So it's like the movie tells you, we're not doing that again. But then it goes so hard on making you think it's him that it's just like, oh shoot, I fell for it. (laughs) I will say also a callback to the first film is that opening scene. Yes. Um, We had Major Star, um, which I don't know if Jada Pinkett Smith was like a big star maybe when this came out or not. I would assume so. Um, Yeah, I would assume so too. But we're seeing like that big star not make it through the first 10 minutes of the film. Right. Um, And that was so brutal. Not the most brutal death. I would say, but it was extremely brutal. I mean, even her boyfriend in the bathroom scene, which uh, he's the guy from House. Uh, We couldn't remember. I couldn't remember exactly where he was from. He got it right in the side of the head, like listening to that guy just like whispering. That's traumatizing for any time I'm going to be in a bathroom stall. I mean, I never would put my head up against the side of a bathroom yeah. stall, but now I'm just going to be like, damn, is one of these stalls have a serial killer yeah, in like it? Yeah, who's, who's in this yeah, bathroom Yeah, who's in you? here next to me? <laughs> yeah, I don't but, know. And no, that... like these American stalls that like are just like basically open everywhere. Yeah, you just see everything. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was an excellent beginning to this movie. I mean, the first one was so intense. And we saw a lot of comments too about the promotional material for the first Scream is that it made you believe that Drew Barrymore was like a main person in the movie. At least I'm pretty sure that's correct. That's what a ton of comments on the first reaction said. That would have been awesome to go into this thinking, oh, okay, cool, we get to see Drew Barrymore. And then she literally dies in the first like 10 minutes. Yeah, she's the first victim. Yeah. And it's such a traumatizing, like terrorizing couple of minutes, not even like 10, 15 minutes. It was such an epic beginning to that movie. Again, how do you top that? Like, yeah. Or not even top it, but like, how do you do- How do you match like it? 80% yeah. or something that would still be an achievement. And I think this was amazing. The way that they played it up with the intensity of boyfriend getting killed in the stall and Jada Pinkett Smith sitting next to the killer for like multiple minutes. Yeah, and they're giving out the screen masks. So it's like- She's just surrounded by screen yeah. masks and people fake stabbing everyone and screaming and running. And yeah. it's like, it seems like such a crazy movie experience where everyone's just super hyped for this like early access stuff. And to twist that into someone actually getting killed for the movie that's based off of the movie yeah. or the events of the first movie. It was an, an incredible opening to this one. Yeah, so good. Uh, Sarah Michelle Geller also getting it pretty early on. Yeah, I would assume she was probably pretty famous too around this time. Yeah. So it feels like just like a cameo that they kind of threw her in. Yeah, which was cool. It was cool to have her in for sure. And, and playing with the, you know, being alone in the house type of victim. Her death wasn't too bad. She died relatively quick. I mean, it was still bad. It was but pretty brutal I would right say off the side. Definitely that one cop got it the worst out of anyone. That was hardcore gore. That was disgusting. <laughs> and the fact that they just like really wanted to make sure that you saw it. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, And then even the shot from inside the car, you just see the ear. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh yeah, no. It was, so, <laughs> you'll see it in the edit. That was disgusting. Um, and that scene, probably one of the most stressful out of any horror films I think that we've seen so far. Yeah. It was just taking so long. They did such a good job of putting them in this scenario where they only had one option to escape, which yeah. is climbing over the killer. I mean, you think anything is gonna wake that person yeah. up. So peeling back the whatever divider, 
her crawling over and accidentally the horn. horn and stuff. And then when she finally gets out, it's like, oh, okay. But then it's the other friend's turn. And you're you like, oh my God. Open. No, I definitely thought the friend was done for at that point. I thought she would probably get like three fourths of the way out of the car, uh, but she made it and you get that sense of relief. And it's not until like 30 seconds later where she finally gets it. I don't know. I mean, I was so frustrated that they wouldn't pull off the freaking mask. But I mean, it's a movie, so they can't reveal it at that, that early. moment. Yeah. But such a stressful scene. Oh yeah, that was an incredible scene. I mean, there's so many incredible scenes in this one. Another one that uh, was devastating, thankfully it turned out all right, was like the soundproof aspect. Dewey. With Dewey and Gale, and like Dewey's just like, I mean, that was so <sighs> torturous of him trying to get I her attention. Know. I hate it because it, it sucked because it just made the scene that much more emotional, but I'm glad that they did it was the fact that he like got like half a second of like sound audio to her so that she would like notice what was going on. It would have been worse if he just died and then she turned around and saw a bunch of blood and stuff. Yeah. And then he probably would have made it into the room where she was if Dewey hadn't warned her. Yeah. So it but. definitely, it just really got to you once they had that little moment where she's just watching him die in like silence and she can't do anything about it really. Yeah, and the sound was really cool in that too that they like kind of muffled her like screaming. Yeah. But you could hear it just enough because the door was like slightly open. Little details are cool like that, but that was so heartbreaking and I was about to not watch any more of the Scream films if Dewey was dead. Yeah, I mean, I don't know anything about the sequel Screams, do we keep following Sydney? Is she just done? Like she has no one really. I mean, unless they, are they gonna bring back Dewey and Gale? Like, I don't know, I hope so. Cause I love Dewey and Gale, but also I don't want them to die. <laughs> she cannot catch a break. <laughs> just all these copycats just getting her every movie. I mean, how could she ever be with someone ever? Like her first boyfriend was the killer. Then her second boyfriend, wasn't the killer, but she didn't trust him. So now she like, not only does she not trust other people, but she doesn't even trust herself now. Yeah, she's just like, everyone leave me alone. She's gonna be in like, like seclusion or something. Yeah, yeah, because even Randy, like her friend, like. Oh, that was a bummer how he went to. Yeah. No, as soon as he walked up and he was getting close to that van, like I was getting so nervous. I'm like, don't be near anything. I didn't even suspect the van at all. No, I did. As soon as he started standing there, maybe it's because I am a female that you just do not get right up to vans yeah. with sliding doors. Got to be cautious of vans. Yeah. But also the vans in the first movie were death traps as well, pretty much. Yeah. Loved every minute of this movie though. And I hope all of the sequels are just as good as this because I'm really excited. Yeah, no, this was incredible. It's really hard for me to pick which one is better, but I, I honestly feel like this is maybe one of the first situations where you can't even do that because they just exist so well together, together mm -hmm. that you can't really even separate them. Yeah, I mean, the first one is probably like a, you know, on the level of its own because it's like- it's Such a classic. Yeah. And, yeah, but then you add the second one and it's like, it. this is definitely another Terminator, Terminator 2, Alien, Aliens. Right, conundrum, like. Godfathers. Right. Where they're really good together. Yeah, I mean, this one improves the first movie, but then it also doesn't exist without the first movie. Yeah. Uh, but I had such a fantastic time. This was amazing. If every single sequel is slightly as good as this, uh, I'm sure we'll love them too. Yeah, no, I'm very, very excited for the next one. Yeah, so if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.